Welcome back. And now for this third part, which is going to be how to create the holes and using your hole wizard. Um, real quick. And actually with this particular hole, we don't need to necessarily use the hole wizard. We can just do another cut. So I want to do the top view because the holes start at the top. So click the space bar, go to your top view. And I'm going to, I'm going to try something real quick. I'm going to teach you the hole wizard because we will use the hole, hole wizard eventually. So all you do is click hole wizard. And when you first see something pop up for the hole wizard, you're going to see counter bore, which is what automatically is selected, counter sink, which we use both of these, and then a hole. Um, we're not going to use the straight tap, ta taper tap, or the legacy hole. I want you to click on the hole right now. okay? And it's going to select what size you want. Well, the size of the hole is 0.75. So I want to, uh, the depth of the hole is going to be through all. So we're going to just put through all right here instead of blind. It's going to be through all. Okay. I want to click show custom sizing. And right now it tells me it's 0 0.0059. I want it to be 0.75. So once I click 75, okay, now I can actually come over here up to the top, click the position tab, and when I come out here, okay, I want to select where I want the holes to go through. I want them to go right here on this top. I don't want to select up here, I want to select this area right here. So I'm going to click once, and now if I hit the space bar, I can click the top again. Now I'm going to pick the hole where I want it to move. Doesn't matter where you put it, just put two holes down. Okay, put two holes down. If you put three on accident, okay, all you have to do is hit escape, click the hole, and hit delete. And it deletes it. So if you hit escape, you actually put a hole in on accident. Just click the center of the hole and hit delete on the keyboard. All right, so now I have my holes. I want Before I get out of this, do not hit the check mark or the X. You're still in this, so you have your sketch mode for holes. These holes should be yellow right now. The block should be kind of gray looking. So basically, what I'm going to do is dimension it. So I want to dimension from here to the center of the hole. And I'm going to go up, so I had to click twice. That dimension is... 1.75 I hit enter now I'm gonna go from the hole to this hole and go up that dimension is 1.5 okay now I want to go from the edge to the center here and out and that dimension is 1.25 and I hit enter so now my holes are all lined up I can finish it out I'm going to hit check mark on the dimension. I'm going to hit check mark here or here on the hole. And now you can see, if I hold this scroll down, I've put holes through my block. We're going to use that feature a lot, that hole wizard. You can create holes or you can create uh, counter boards or counter sinks using that hole. It's a great, great tool to use and it's really quick and easy. Now, if I want to edit those holes, okay, basically I would come over here to the left side where my project browser is and I would click um, on here I can right click on the hole and I can go edit feature okay and if I edit the feature okay it's gonna take me back into here now I can relocate the position or I can relocate the type or the size All right if I want to edit the size uh, I can also edit the sketch if I edit sketch okay there is no sketch. All right, you can't do that on the whole wizard right there. All right, so if I want to change the size of the hole, what you have to do is you have to go into the first one and edit feature. Okay, because that's how big the hole is, is right here. This is where you're gonna change the size of the hole. Okay, if you wanna change location, where they're located, you have to go into the position tab, which is located right here. If I hit the space bar, Go to the top view. Now I can change these dimensions. Okay, all I have to do is hit escape once because I'm putting holes in. Hit escape or twice, 
And if I double click on that, I can change the dimension. All right, so that's how you would change the dimension on uh, a hole if you've already put it in and it was wrong. Uh, hit the check mark. So now you have all your feature. It's completely done. You have everything um, drawn on it. Right? Now what your next step would be is to put it onto a sheet and dimension it.